The crash frequency and uh, severity predictive procedures included in the Highway Safety Manual are based on observed crashes for a select number of locations in the United States. So for a jurisdiction to be able to fully benefit from applying the procedures to their region, it is necessary to calibrate these models for local conditions, being a state or one of its regions. The model calibration will allow to adequately represent unique characteristics of crashes for their region, such as weather trends, animal crashes, and varying crash reporting thresholds. The purpose of this research project is to develop improved guidance on how the calibration of the model needs to be done. We have investigated the sample size requirements for both crash frequency models and crash severity models. In addition, we have investigated the method needed on how often an agency should update their calibration factors and whether the region specific factors are needed or not. The calibration procedure helps to refine predicted safety performance resulting in the improved safety investment decisions for a transportation agency. Without using proper guidelines, the predictions are generally biased, which means the total crashes are either overestimated or underestimated. When the predictions are biased, it results in selecting inappropriate safety strategies, countermeasures and design alternatives and ultimately would lead to misallocation of resources. For sample size guidelines, we have used Monte Carlo simulation protocol for different scenarios that characterize the sample mean and variance of the data. Two observed data sets were used to validate the simulation results. For developing region-specific guidelines, crash data from Texas for different facilities and Michigan data for intersections were used. Calibration factors were developed by region to see how different they are. The factors are developed for each year as well using the Texas data to find out how often an agency needs to update. The simulation results indicated that one size fits all sample size recommendation uh, in the HSM is inaccurate. We found that as the ratio of standard deviation to the mean of the crash data increases, a large sample size is warranted to fulfill certain ranges, certain levels of accuracy. Taking this observation into account, sample size guidelines were prepared based on the coefficient of variation of the crash data that are needed for the recalibration process. The proposed guidelines can be used for all facilities, both for segments and intersection prediction models. We have also concluded that developing just a single calibration factor for the whole state may not be applicable to all regions in the state. Instead, region-specific calibration factors are needed to provide improved predictions. We have developed guidelines on how to check whether there are any differences between the regions. Similarly, guidelines were developed on how often the calibration factors should be developed. The HSM recommendation of deriving the factors every two to three years may not always be necessary. The improved guidelines developed in this research are helpful in conducting proper network screening and selecting hotspot locations, and in turn, selecting appropriate safety strategies countermeasures and design alternatives and ultimately would lead to better allocation of resources.